Check one, two, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. 10, 9, 8, 7, The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. And now, house lights down. Music up. Now entering the World Music Stage. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Oh, we got it all for you today. Yes, we have country and rock and alternative and world beat and roots. You name it, we have it on this countdown but isn't that what world music stage is all about welcome to the world music stage radio top 10 countdown we count down the top 10 every saturday and now we are heard on over 100 radio affiliates throughout the world and of course we are heard on worldmusicstage.com and on the internet worldwide and on demand through star worldwide networks listen at a time That is convenient for you. And thanks to all of you listening to the live stream. We appreciate you. We are all about indie music. Yeah. The artists, the fans who support indie music. That's what this is about. To select the top 10 songs. How do we do that for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown? Well, we use stats from worldmusicstage.com for the number of plays and activity for an artist. So fan support is huge. That's why we constantly ask you to go to worldmusicstage.com. The more the artist and their fans are active on World Music Stage, the more the artist gets known. And that's how we support indie music. And of course, in turn, the top 10 songs weekly are presented worldwide right here on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. So, are you ready? Let's get started. World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Subversa. Song number 10. Subversa, S I V E R S A. I want to get that right. Subversa, S I V E R S A. It's a new band from Central Arkansas. Why do I spell it for you? Because when you go to worldmusicstage.com and you're searching for your favorite artist and you go, I really like that song from Subversa that uh, Dave mentioned on the Top 10 Countdown. How do you spell that? Well, now you know. That's why sometimes I spell uh, the artist's names. So Subversa is a powerful group of experienced players who have the stage with bands like Sugar Cold and Escape the Fate, Gym Class Heroes. Yeah, they've shared the stage with all these. Fillmore and others. Kicking us off this week at number 10. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, from Little Rock, Arkansas, Subversa, died in your arms tonight.
good stuff, Subversa. And, you know, I was just checking with with Jane and Grant, the founders of World Music Stage. I believe that that's the first cover that we've had on. And this is our fourth month of the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. That song originally done by Cutting Crew, and I just died in your arms, and Subversa did it justice. We move on to number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown, song number nine. So at the age of 47, Jimmy D. Lane has already led quite a full life. Wow, I'm just looking at some of the musicians that he has worked with. Very impressive. Eric Clapton, you guys ever heard of him? I hear he's a decent guitar player. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, B.B. King, Van Morrison, Jimmy D. Lane's worked with all these guys. Johnny Lang, Gary Moore, Taj Mahal, Stephen Stills, and some guys named Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. I hear they're on their way. That's the life of Jimmy D. Lane. At number nine on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Vancouver, Canada, off the album Jimmy D. Lane and Double Trouble, it's time. What makes people? bringing the blues and that brings us to number eight world music stage radio top 10 countdown song number eight so martin kimball 
Martin is a British-born singer-songwriter, and he now lives in Arthur, Illinois. Finding just one person that can relate means everything to Martin. He writes from raw personal experiences and real emotional songs. That's what Martin Kimball's all about. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, Martin Kimball. Hi, Martin. Hello, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing great. Are you calling from Arthur, Illinois? I am indeed, yes. Now, that that's Amish country, isn't it? It is indeed. <laughs> it's a very quiet, sleepy place. All right, so you come over from Britain. What what puts you in Arthur, Illinois? Um, well, right now, it's just um, uh, family, you know, um, on this side. So you know, I've been here about 15 years now, and, um, you know, we're just, uh, just chilling in the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful area, though. It's, it's kind of, uh, well, it's, it's like East Central Illinois, right? Right, right. Yeah. Hey, so we want to know more about Martin Kimball. Tell us about you. Okay. Well, um, I am uh, English, obviously. Um, I've been into music since I was a child. Um, and uh, one of my ambitions was to always, you know, release my own album, um, which, after, uh, you know, quite a lot of hard work and uh, involved there and uh, finally managed to get the album out. But um, I continued with it because of the feedback I got from the people um, it's kind of encouraged me to carry on with more. So yeah, we spent this year uh, putting some music together and hopefully release an album later this year or early next. And Martin, has music been your entire life? Pretty much. I mean, I started playing a, a great big old, uh, like a pipe organ <laughs> when I was about seven or eight years old. And uh, I just kind of eventually found the instruments that I liked, guitar, piano, that kind of thing. And um, I just kind of stuck with it, yeah. Well, it's working for you. You are on our Top Ten Countdown this week. Talk about your song, Gonna Take Some Time. Okay, uh, well, all my songs are written through personal experiences, and uh, this particular one um, is about saving a relationship. It's about how sometimes you have to tell each other truth, you know, that you might not like, and, um, you know, you've got to kind of stick with it and uh, see what comes, see if you come out the other side, and that's kind of what this one is about. It's going to take some time. So, so Martin, if I ever make it back to Arthur, Illinois, are you going to give me a ride in one of those horse and buggies? Um, I probably could get you a ride on one, but I don't know if I'd go on one myself. <laughs> <laughs> At number eight on the World Music Stage Radio, top ten countdown, off the album Broken, this is Martin Kimball, Gonna Take Some Time.
there's a word for somebody who can play guitar like that and play keyboards and write and sing like that. It's called talent. <laughs> That's Martin Kimball. And we move on to number seven. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number seven. So with a nod to country and respect for Southern rock, the NC Flyers. Isn't that a great name? NC Flyers. They are proud of their Great Lakes heritage. From roots rock to contemporary country, listeners can peel back the layers of every song. Think of, well, think of the Eagles meeting Alabama for an alternative roots rock jam, and you'll have NC Flyers. At number seven on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, this should be interesting. From the album One Good Ride, NC Flyers. Rusty side of me. Ten on that roof, I sure seen better days. That plow behind the barn is rusting away. Like the fenders on that beat up truck Out there in the yard Underneath that old train truss With them worn out tracks We'd sneak a few beers Have a lot of laughs Like stealing those rails And memories won't disappear There's bars That old train just ran away from me I can't help but feel I need to slow it all down I ain't even close to ready to take that old dirt now I just thank God I'm still on the right side of the grass Like that rusty old plow I can still tear up some North Country Flyers and Rusty Side of Me. And that brings us to number six. Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number six. Uncle Larry's Band. That's the name of them. And there's a story here. Uncle Larry's Band. They're a bunch of tight musicians and vocalists from the Metro Philly area. Yeah, Philly doesn't have a history of great music, huh? (laughs) Uncle Larry's band, that's where they're from, Metro Philly. Larry Richardson's uncle was a member of the Blue Notes. Remember the Blue Notes? Yeah, great band. And living only three blocks from the famous Uptown Theater, Larry got to see all the acts he heard on the radio. And then it happened. He saw his uncle Marshall on television singing the song 
that he watched him rehearse at his grandmother's house. Well, the light went on. His uncle was a star. And Larry thought, hey, if I'm that close to a star, I can be one too. At number six on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, off the album Phila Electricity, Uncle Larry's Band and Love Me. Pipes on her, huh? And Larry Richardson brings it all together. And Uncle Larry's band kind of has that Latino feel to the back of it, but that dance sound from the 70s, bringing it all around like a Thelma Houston or a Stephanie Mills or something like that. That's good stuff. Uh, my wife listens to our countdown. She'll love that because she's a dancer. And guess what? That brings us to the top five. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number five. You know what's fun about hosting the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown is I just look at where all these artists and groups are from and I try to see if I can figure it out. For example, this one, Denton, Texas, D-E-N-T-O-N. I think that that's Dallas, Metro Dallas, north of Dallas. I always check after I introduce the songs (laughs) just to make sure I'm right. 
Sonar Lights was formed six years ago. Their sharp songwriting delivered with mighty guitar hooks, influenced by the early heavy metal era. Sonar Lights is dedicated to bringing back the ideal of creating an album. Remember when albums had themes and they meant something? That's what Sonar Lights is all about. They want albums to have a reason, and they deliver a brand of rock that's been desperately missed. At number five on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Denton, Texas. I think it's Dallas. Off the album, here we are. Sonar Lights, Out in the Streets. Everybody in our studio laughs because whenever I hear a surefire hit, I hold up the touchdown sign, (laughs) and that is definitely one of them. Between Uncle Larry's band and Sonar Lights, I'm worn out. But no, there's no time to rest because wait till you hear what's at number four. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. Yeah, I guarantee there's no resting now because Leona X is from Seattle, Washington, and this band charged onto the scene about four years ago. This is a trio of Las Vegas' most respected and talented musicians who bring a high-energy rock show. Now, as the lead singer uh, singer of an all-girl band whose album was produced by Phil Rudd, of the legendary ACDC, I have a feeling that this is not the song we're going to rest to. Fans have been waiting for what Leona X will do next, 
And here it is. At number four on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Leona X, ready for this. Did I call that one? I told you that wouldn't be the one to rest to. Not when she's worked with Phil Rudd, Leona X. And I'm looking at her photo. She is hot. God, I want to be her guitar. All right, we move on to number three. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number three. What? I, I just saying it the way it is. She is. She's gorgeous. Leona X, look at the photo. And she can play. That was her on that bad axe. At number three, a graduate from the University of Paris, Darren Mashaw, began his career as a model. But his interest and passion in studio recording soon took him in a whole new direction. In fact, we've had Darren Mashaw on the countdown before. One of our first couple weeks on the countdown. Darren embraces... So many different musical styles. That's what really keeps them interesting, including pop and dance and world and folk and a little R&B in there, too. A truly international artist. His music fits perfectly on World Music Stage. At number three on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, off the album The Best of Me, Darren Mashaw and Beautiful Lies. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I 
And by the way, I think that's Miss Show, Darren Miss Show, because A U X, it's like Chateau Margot. But then again, I drink T J Swan, so who knows? You know what messed me up? My French teacher in high school, her name was Mrs. Rodriguez. When I had a Spanish teacher for French, that messed me up. So Darren Michaud, though, that is the correct pronunciation. That brings us to the top two. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number two. Uh, let's go back up north to those crazy, crazy, crazy Canadians. Didn't we start with a bunch of crazy Canadians today? I believe we did. Originally from Lindsay, Ontario. Mr. Burns has been working as an underground performing artist in the Canadian music scene for years now. He's been nominated in the Ontario Independent Music Award and won Best Hip Hop at the Bari New Music Awards. And check this out. Mr. Burns also recorded a song with Ice-T and Cool Mo D. Pretty good company, right? Mr. Burns started his own record label called Music Before Money Records. At number two on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, off the album Random, Mr. Burns, Last Stand. Ain't another line I'm trying to feed you Understand and see it You made me a believer Turn me to a true seeker I see the truth and all sin I know you're by my side If this world goes bust We move past the dust But you still look the same Your beauty, your vision You changed my whole game Every day you fan the flame I know that will never change You help me dig out When all the sea is pain And when I feel drained You recharge my cells You're strong on your own Cause I'm stubborn as hell You pick me up when I fail Something that I can't all I do is drop tracks like I'm a DJ Thank God every day that you found your way to me You're my honeycomb and I'm the killer bee I change like the seasons, my thoughts wild and free If I only had a thousand words, all I need is three there was no- Situation and think it isn't fair, but you help me find the good. Show me how I'm misunderstood and keep stepping forward like you know I should. You keep this man strong when no one else would, and keep this man building just like a piece of wood. I would love to express it only if I could, but you understand that too. So by my side, you stood. Yeah, it's amazing sometimes you kept me strong. Gaze and bring me back down to the plans that we lay and hustle hard on your own. On the phone and at home, most of what I got is good. I'm living a dream with you and my team Hold each other down through all the little schemes You're a gift from God to me, that's what it seems Just for me, I'm trying to show you what that means Mr. Burns. Yeah, good stuff there, huh? I told you this week's countdown was going to have just a little bit of everything. And guess what? We have arrived at number one. World Music Stage Radio. 
Top 10 Countdown, song number one. Oh, you're going to like this girl. I'm telling you, you're going to, in fact, you're going to love this girl. Celeste Hunter is a solo female artist with a rich blend of mainstream vocal styles that just soar. She spent most of her childhood years in San Diego, California. She's been singing since she can remember. As Celeste grew into her preteen and and her teenage years, she became influenced by Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, and Mariah Carey. And on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, Celeste Hunter. Hi, Celeste. Hi, Dave. Well, (laughs) congratulations. Yeah, I can. And congratulations on your career. Thank you. I'm so excited. (laughs) Where are you checking in from, Celeste? I am actually in Utah right now, Salt Lake City. All right. Oh, BYU place tonight. Big BYU, uh, uh, BYU Utah. BYU U of U game. Big game. Uh, and you're yep. a BYU girl. Is that it? I graduated from BYU, yes. All right. <laughs> okay, because I know that's a big rivalry up there. It's a huge rivalry. It's huge. Yeah. And you are oh, yeah. uh, Sandy, Utah, correct? Yes, yes. All right. I'm there now. I actually grew up in San Diego, and I kind of go between the two places often. They're both my home. So, Didn't you sing for like a big soccer game with BYU or something? Yes, I did, actually. And it was it's kind of a funny story, but yes, I did. And it was a rivalry game between BYU and the U of U, and I got a standing ovation for about five minutes after. Ooh. So great memory, great memory. Now, <laughs> did you get a standing ovation before they knew you were a BYU fan? Because I don't know if Utah would give it to you. Actually, they knew I was a BYU fan. I wore a BYU. <laughs> one of the players gave me one of their jackets to wear. So they knew I was a BYU fan. All right. That, that you must have been unbelievable if Utah was cheering for you. So <laughs> I, it, was, it was a great experience for sure. So, Celeste, tell us more about you and your career. Well, like you said, I've been singing pretty much my whole life. I think one of my earliest memories was discovering that I could sing when I was a little kid. And, and from there, I was... I just kept doing it all the time, everywhere. Um, I I just love to sing. I don't know. I, I write my own music. I, I've done a lot of big events. Generally, the opportunities I've had have been more solo events where I've, I've sang for charity events or for events where people have come to ask me to sing. For example, when I sing at the soccer tournament, it was the team asked me to sing for it. So that's yeah. how that opportunity came about. Um, but I, you know, for me, it's been a matter of, trying to find where I fit. It's been hard to kind of really, you know, uh, to find that place where my voice really can be all it's meant to be, I guess. Well, (laughs) you you mentioned some terrific influences. And Celeste, I know you've been singing since you were a little girl, but you mentioned Celine and and Whitney and Mariah. Wow, there's three. Yes. Growing up, what was your favorite cover song? Oh. Oh. (laughs) If, If little Celeste goes out to sing... What's your favorite cover song? When I was a kid, it was the song Tomorrow from Annie, the musical. Mm-hmm. I loved that song. I, I loved Whitney Houston. Um, I did, I did uh, The Greatest Love of All a lot when I was a kid. Oh. When I was in high school, uh, for graduation, I got asked to sing the big solo. And I sang One Moment in Time at my high school graduation. And we had a huge class. I think there were like 5,000 5, people there. Um, but so... So all of them, but Celine Dion kind of became the big thing for me when I was in high school um, and Barbra Streisand. So, yeah. And those are not easy songs to sing. Those are, those no. are, those no. are high pitch songs. <laughs> Talk about your song at number one, I'll Love You Anyway. Oh, okay. So that's the song. <laughs> it's number one. one. <laughs> it's number one, Celeste. Woo-hoo! Woo! Um, so I wrote that song and I actually sat down and wrote it in about, I would say half an hour to an hour. It just kind of, the lyrics kind of just came to me and I wrote them down and I was working with a p- piano player at the time that was uh, accompanying me for a lot of events that I was singing for through the holiday season. And I emailed him and I was like, this is what I want you to do with this song. Can you arrange this song in a way where, you know, this, these, this is where I want it to be on, on this word and you know, that sort of a thing. And uh, within a week, he just emailed me back with uh, an idea of what he had going for that. And I loved it. And and we kind of tweaked it a little bit when, when we went into the studio. But that's this is it. And it's from my heart. It's sincere. These are my words about the best kind of love that you can have, you know, for another person. Well, I can't, so, I can't wait for our listeners to hear your voice on this. And, and Celeste, go Cougs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, thank you. <laughs> I have a lot of U of U fans, friends that are fans. So, <laughs> but either way, I'm cool. But yes, go Cougs. And you are cool. You're at number one on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. From Sandy, Utah, Celeste Hunter, I'll love you anyway. I'll tell you something. That is the first time I have ever heard of Celeste Hunter. It's the first time I've ever spoken to her. That blew me away. Absolutely blew me away. I think the biggest compliment you can give an artist is when you tell them that you would pay for that. I would pay for that, and I would pay to see her. She not only has pitch, she has power. She That is a Broadway star waiting to happen. Boy, she can belt it, and that's why she's at number one. Celeste Hunter. Whew, what a countdown this week. There they are. This week's top 10 in the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. 
you know, we hit that part with Uncle Larry's band and then Sonar Lights and Leona X, and I was worn out. I was literally out of breath. And then we end with Celeste Hunter bringing that and the Jimmy D. Lane blues stuff, everything on the countdown this week. It gets better every week. And I know that I say that, but it's true. <sighs> the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown heard every week right here on Star Worldwide Networks. I'm so proud to host it. This week, go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music in the world. You can get this music. You can have this on your iPod. You can download this music for like 99 cents. And at the same time, you support your favorite indie artists. Thanks for joining us every week for the best in indie music around the world. I'm Dave Pratt. And hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at worldmusicstage.com. That's worldmusicstage.com.